You know, so, fairness, I said, Doc, I want to tell you, I'll be the healthiest president ever. And he said, well, I think I agree. And I think he probably took my words and he put them down. By the way, somebody He's actually a good doctor. So far, a great doctor. This <laughs> then candidate Donald Trump discussing the letter his personal doctor, Harold Bornstein, wrote during the campaign. The one where he said Trump will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. It turns out what Trump told Jimmy Kimmel was actually the truth. In an exclusive conversation with NBC News, Bornstein explains. I will also tell you that that letter that showed up in the Times about his health, he wrote himself. You know that. Yeah. He wrote it himself. And me, from where I come from, the end of it was just black humor. It wasn't meant to be uh, a serious comment. Mm -hmm. I guess people don't have that sense of humor. Yeah. But I have that sense of humor. Well, that's probably a good thing. Dr. Bornstein's letter was not the only questionable evaluation of President Trump's health. Just a few months ago, Dr. Ronnie Jackson stood in front of the White House press corps for over an hour, painting quite a rosy picture of the president's health. We compared the two reports, and there were some striking similarities. Bornstein called Trump's test results, quote, astonishingly excellent, a word Jackson liked to use as well. In summary, the president's overall health is excellent. Bornstein said Trump's strength and stamina are extraordinary. Now, here's how Jackson characterized the president's endurance. And I'll tell you, out of everybody there, the president had more stamina and more energy than just about anybody there. And as almost to rival Bornstein's statement that Trump will be, quote, the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency line, Ronnie Jackson gave his own bold proclamation. I told the president that if he had a healthier diet over the last uh, 20 years, he might live to be 200 years old. So what's going on? <laughs> what I think is interesting here is that you see the president really clinging to people who have been incredibly publicly loyal to him. This has been but a he just met Ronnie. Pilot. I mean, that's, that's Bornstein's well, that's excuse. What's way, that is one way to get in good with the president, right? And that's we've, we've seen that he was then nominated to a top position. Now, that didn't exactly work out for him well. But in the short term, it served him really well. And I think part of the reason you've seen such turnover in the White House is because he hasn't felt like people are loyal to him. And so they're incredibly loyal. They say he's 300, he's 300 pounds. They call him 150. I mean, let me ask you about the human yeah. carnage yeah. of Donald Trump, because you cover a man who, who to me is just um, like the poster boy of, 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 of the human wreckage that Trump leaves in his path. You, as you mentioned, Dr. Ronnie Jackson, he was a person in, in good standing, as far as I understood, as, yep. as a White House physician. Uh, meets Donald Trump, gives that bizarre performance with alarmingly similar words used by Dr. Bornstein, who says that the president dictated the letter. Now, we don't know if the president dictated Dr. Jackson's uh, performance, but, but there's certainly a lot of words that, that, that were used in both. Um, Michael Cohen. Dr. Bornstein, who in an interview with NBC said he felt raped. Ronnie Jackson, who, you know, I don't know what he's going to do for a job now. He's out as White House doctor. He's out as VA nominee. Everyone that comes in contact with this president ends up tarnished or worse. It's, it's exactly right. As soon as I saw this interview, as soon as you guys broke it yesterday, my first thought was Michael Cohen, that there are just... There's basically a basket of people who have either worked in the White House or have been involved with the Trump lives for years who have ended up just completely chucked out of the basket and thrown under the bus. And this is what happens. A, a longtime Trump associate uh, who hasn't worked for the president in many years once told me that as soon as Donald Trump feels like you are no longer useful to him, he will get rid of you and will feel, not, feel nothing about it. And I think that that is what we're seeing over and over and over. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.